Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about the Arbitrator shotgun for Scorch in the game Rogue Company. Overall I think that the Arbitrator is a bad weapon for Scorch, uh, because if you want to use a shotgun you need to kind of a flank a lot, and she doesn't have any good perks for this, uh, something that for example hides you from the radar, um, when there are different devices that can detect you, you can be invisible to those, and there's nothing that kind of a silence your footsteps that allows you to further uh, be kind of uh, sneaky with your uh, flanking. Now keep in mind that you need to be in a very close uh, proximity from your enemy in order to deal the maximum amount of damage. Uh, so you, I mean, just doing peak shots uh, won't work here unless uh, you kind of bait your enemies. Uh, you're gonna find yourself uh, hiding in corners and waiting for enemies to come through and then hit them but just keep in mind it can lead to some inconsistencies because uh, again you can't allow yourself to miss a shot and another thing is that uh, when you play uh, with scorch using the shotgun you flank a lot you become especially with those very small tiny not small tiny maps you become very predictable um, so this is something that um, you need to overcome by just making sure you understand the maps all the different locations and sometimes you need to kind of wait when the enemies you not know, for the enemies to come through and then uh, kind of uh, surprise them uh, in different locations uh, because again you can be heard if you move with the shotgun they will hear you if you walk it doesn't matter if you walk or run you can always be heard and it's very easy to take you down just moving a bit you miss a shot the enemy can use uh, you know, other uh, auto firing weapon to take you out very very quickly so even by just moving a bit and keeping a bit of distance from Scorch with a shotgun, it's very easy to uh, to take her down. So again, this weapon is very hard uh, to use and you really need to kind of play a lot in order to understand the, the map locations and know how to position yourself to make the best of it. So as you can see, for example, on this map, uh, there's one place where you can actually sneak. I mean, I can do a big round, but this is just a waste of time and I need to kind of support my teammates. So I'm just going this way. Now we can uh, kind of uh, surprise the other teammates uh, at some points. Uh, but the thing is that at some point, I also become very predictable and enemies can just wait and wait for me and take me easily down and nothing I can do about it. Even when facing like two enemies, uh, you're gonna find yourself this is a really bad situation dealing with a shotgun even with your secondary firearm where you need to change weapons it just doesn't work well at all and of course let's not forget the active ability so you can actually take damage over time with a primary uh, active ability this is great for the first firing uh, submachine gun but it's really not that great with a shotgun now, of course, like many other weapons, it depends on the map, and it's nice to have kind of an option to choose between weapons. Uh, plus, with this map, you have like, I think like two or three points which, which are good. Uh, like this one, you can surprise the enemies and uh, easily kill them if they're hiding there. Uh, there's other one in, uh, in the mid location of the map. But overall, you lose versatility when you choose the shotgun. Uh, and most of the time, when you're kind of uh, in a situation, uh, where you can actually kind of uh, do something because of the weapon that you choose, shotgun, you're gonna find yourself making. You sound says that it's very hard to make a certain move or pull out different tactics because the weapon actually limits your choices. However, if you find yourself in a location where enemies are very close, you probably will be able to win uh, an engagement relatively fast, even here, you see. It was very easy to take an enemy down if you, if you are the enemy pre-shooting you, you still will be able to take enemies down very fast. So overall, I don't think it's a good weapon. I mean, I will always choose the first weapon regardless of the map. Again, all the maps are quite small. Maybe some maps is better than the others, but still you lose lots of versatility. And for Scorch, with their active ability and the lack of different perks to support the shotgun weapon, I'll probably go always with the first weapon. So this is it. Tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing and liking. I see you on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye bye.